लाइफ इंश्योरेंस इंडस्ट्री स्ट्रॉन्ग डेमोग्राफिक चेलवेंस इवन चूडे टू थाउजेंड थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट अराउंड पॉपुलेशन वुड बी थर्टी टू फिफ्टी नाइन ईयर्स अर्बन पॉपुलेशन विच इज अराउंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट चूडे वुड बी फोर्टी परसेंट इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टी लाइफ इंश्योरेंस डेंसिटी इज सीन एट जस्ट फिफ्टी एट यूएस डॉलर विच इज टू लो कंपेरिंग टू अदर इयर कंट्रीज एडवांटेज इंडिया फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन द वर्ल्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ जी डी पी वन ऑफ द हाइएस्ट यंग पॉपुलेशन विद ए मीडियम एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स एंड राइजिंग शेयर ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन एडवांटेज इंडिया कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अ हाई शेयर ऑफ वर्किंग पॉपुलेशन रेपिड अर्बनाइजेशन राइजिंग अफ्लूएंस एंड फोकस ऑन फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन टू प्रोपेल द ग्रोथ ऑफ इंडियन लाइफ इंश्योरेंस सेक्टर highly under penetrated insurance market if you compare it with peer country protection gap highest among peers 10th largest life insurance market worldwide and 5th largest in asia total premium grew at 17% during last 18 years and it continues to be under penetrated compared to countries like china thailand korea that's the advantage funnel population 132 crore bank account 105 crore pan card 44 crore income tax rich and 5.9 crore 2.1 crore mutual fund investor and just 60 lakh in short that's the mortality gap share of protection in life insurance business is expected to rise low penetration levels as compared to the addressable population increase in disposable income coupled with the pandemic induced awareness of production products will increase the level swiss estimates production gap to rise from us dollar 16.5 trillion in 2019 to 35.6 trillion in 2030 as life expectancy is rising from 68 in 2015 to current around 68 we may see 2055 it rise towards 75 in 2050 around 15 to 59 age years population would be 62% giving demand to retirement solutions So with the advancement of medical science life expectancy has improved rapidly over the last few decades and demand for pension based product would increase with the rise in life expectancy regulatory tailwinds like increase in commutation of pension corpus from 33.3% earlier to 60% will only benefit insurance sector nps contributes the significant portion of the retirement corpus in india they are on track for a period of consistent high growth of over the next decades india stands high on financial savings as you can see 36% contribute towards financial saving majority portion goes to currency and deposits but still it was 64% in 2014 it's 53% today life insurance as you can see which was 17% have grown to 23% shares bonds mf which was just mere 2% have reached 7% so we can say household financial saving has improved to 7.6% after touching the low of 6.4% in 2018-19 increase in share of insurance as a percentage of financial savings is expected to drive growth in life insurance sector you can see around 91% penetration is of ulip in total industry ulip means unit link insurance here higher ulip contribution among a private players through traditional products though traditional products form the major share of a new business Bank channel continues to be the largest contributor for private players although direct channels has gained momentum in the past years you can see here 
60% still comes from agency while banka at 27% among private players you can see 54% comes from banka and 23% only from agency so this is a big question what is the consumer profile who are taking insurance you can see 75% male 25% female 55% of the policies are been taken by 25 to 35 years age and 45% comes from 36 to 45 years age those who take insurance as the durable ownership that 35% already have ac 87% car 87% two wheeler and 67% car so these people are buying insurance you can see 42% comes from graduates and the average monthly personal income taking insurance is around 62000 why this sector is growing increased and faces on physical immunity we can see 76% strongly agree that maintaining physical mental health helps to have a better financial immunity 50% urban population is not sufficiently prepared to face the financial setback arising out of the family chips on research says 62% Safeguarding financial security and stability of the family lies at the core of financial impunity. 32% says to fulfill future responsibilities, goals for self and family. This is the reason why they are taking policy. So some more thing about why people take insurance. 80% people associate life insurance with safeguarding family's future. 77% associate health insurance for the same cause so term insurance along with critical illness cover is at home 61% people say safeguarding from rising cost of treatment of critical illness becoming financial burden on the family 75% people say intend to buy critical illness cover policy over next few months So there are several companies who are going to catch this boom. Some companies have already listed in your stock market, and those are SBI Life, HDFC Life, ICIC Pro, and Max. Majority of the companies are having very good growth. Their premiums are growing by 50% CAGR. Security among top demanding industries of India. For such information on different industries, can download our Android or iOS app. Our toll-free number is one eight double zero eight nine zero four three one seven. You can log in at our site profitfromit dot in to learn with Profit from It or join our different practical courses. This was for you only by yours Profit from It. Thank you, Jai Hind.